Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be testing out the new Big Bad palette, the Revlon and Megan Thee Stallion collection. She has a face palette and she has two mascaras. I picked up the So Fierce Big Bad Eye Mascara and I really, really love the packaging. That's really what drew me in. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy the look. Don't forget to hit subscribe, thumbs up or thumbs down to this video. I do accept both. Enjoy and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I have coffee, I am getting caffeinated, and I'm so excited to put on some makeup, so let's go. So I primed my eyes with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and I also set it in place with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder and Cashew. So I already got my brows done. I used my Maybelline brow pencil. And let's go ahead and hop right into the palette. So like I said, this is the Big Bad Palette, the Revlon and Megan Thee Stallion collection. Super excited and it comes with two highlighters and two eyeshadow quads. Get into that. I am, hold on. First of all, just I'm a little pissed because I didn't even hear about this. I haven't read or even watched any reviews on this. So after I finish this video, I'm going to go and watch a ton of videos on this to see what people think about it. I'm gonna be working down here. Um, if you guys want a look with this little quad up here, just let me know. Um, I might just do it anyway in a, another video down the line, but for this video, we're just gonna be focusing over here in these delicious warm tones. So let's go ahead and swatch these real quick. Oh my God. What? Okay, Revlon. Okay, first off, these are super soft. Like, okay, okay, Megan, okay, Revlon. That's really nice. This is the shimmery black. Okay, and this is the coppery, maybe rose goldy kind of color. Okay, so they look pretty promising. Let me swatch the highlighter. Ooh, the highlighter feels nice. What? Okay, so this is the highlighter. I'm a little obsessed. This highlighter looks really nice. It's doing something weird when I swatch it. Do y'all see that? It's like doing something weird but it's still swatching pretty, so yeah. I love this highlighter. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, I should've gotten some wipes or something. Okay, you guys, so this looks really good and promising. We're gonna take the palette and we're gonna go into this nice like clay terracotta color and this is Toasty. And we're gonna go in with a Morphe 513 brush. Ooh, it's pretty powdery. Can you see that? It's pretty powder, so be careful. So it picks up a ton of product. I'm actually going to get a little bit of that off. Then we're gonna apply that on the lids. It's applying a lot lighter than I thought, um, which is fine. We can always build it up. Don't want to go too dark from the beginning anyway. And so I'm not going to take it too, too far out. I've been doing this thing where I don't take my shadows all the way out if I don't have like any tape or a guideline right there. And I've just been focusing it like stopping right here where the eye ends a little bit before. And I've really been liking how my eyeshadows turn out. I don't remember the last time I used like a Revlon eyeshadow quad or palette. Like, I just don't buy Revlon shadows. I love Revlon as a brand. I mean, Revlon, CoverGirl, like so iconic, but I just, I don't know. I don't reach for Revlon eyeshadows in the drugstore. I like it as a first shade, so 
I'm actually gonna go in with that same brush, that Morphe 513. And then we're gonna go, like do y'all see all the powder? So be careful if you get this palette because it is powdery. Some of it got into like the black shade and stuff. But okay, so now we're gonna go into Fever right here. And we're going to deepen up the eyes. This black is glittery and I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna have to see what it's giving. It looks pretty, but I wish it had a darker matte shade in it. I really like this shade. I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner. Okay, so we're gonna go into my e.l.f. crease brush. And then we're going to go into the dark glittery black and this is Up in Flames. I'm just gonna pick some of that up. Uh, the black's not that powdery, which is really good. Uh, let's see how this glitter behaves. And I'm gonna go on the outside and blend in. It's a little patchy. Let's try it again. I'm trying to be careful because of that glitter. I don't want kind of going everywhere. Yeah, the black's not really doing too much for me. It's not doing it. Uh, the black's a little stiff. You can pack it, but it's a little stiff, which I'm trying to see if I hate it or not, I don't really know. I don't really know, like it's not bad, especially like for my eye shape, like I really like how it's not getting everywhere, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay, so I just blended for quite some time, but I really like how the shadows are looking. Even though that black is pretty stiff, I like how I was able to work with it and how it didn't get all over the place. Like it blended well, but at the same time, it didn't like cover up the rest of the shadows. Are these, was this a bad shadow, but it worked out well? Like, I don't even know how to feel about that. That's crazy. Okay, so. Um, okay, stop blending. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put a color on the lid. You guys know we're gonna go with the shimmer. So let's do, kind of want to do the purple. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of my concealer. I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand, just like that. And because I have super small eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut crease, just because this helps my shadows look better on my small eyes. We're gonna go into it and pack that on the lid. Oh, that's kind of pretty. <gasps> That's different. Ooh, it's got like a little bit of blue in it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and then go into a pretty gold. I'm going to go into this one. This one is a little rougher to the touch. That one is super sparkly. I hope you can see it. And then we're going to go back into our spray and then go back into, well not back into, but go into the gold. Oop. Kind of chunky. Pick that up and take it into the inner corner. Okay, so 
so this is what we're working with right now i know it looks a little crazy but i promise you i really think this look is going to come together at the end so i'm going to go and clean up the rest of my face clean up under my eyes i'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then we're going to come back and we're going to try off the mascara and then we're going to wrap up this first impressions of the new megan the stallion and revlon big bad palette and big bad mascara so i'll be right back with a full face okay guys so we're back with the completed well not completed but the base done foundation powder concealer all the good stuff so let's go ahead and finish off the eyes and then we'll come back and do highlight as the last piece okay now to finish off the eyes i'm going to do a little bit of brown eyeliner on the bottom and then we're going to smoke it out with that black so I'm just gonna take a regular brown eyeliner. I should have bought like a brown Revlon liner, but I didn't think about it. I have so many brown liners. I'm like, I don't need another one. We're going to go back into that little pencil brush, the Morphe E36. And then we're actually gonna mix these two colors here at the bottom. So then we're gonna take it and we're gonna go bring it around. So let's add a little bit of that gold and purple. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed eye look and I really, really like how that came out all right so let's go ahead and finish it off with the mascara once again this is 703 black and brown i'm kind of mad because i had every intention of getting regular black but i was moving too fast so i'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes real quick okay so let's go ahead and try the mascara it looks like a pretty standard one, but it looks like it's tapered. Am I tripping? This is the brush. Let's give it a go. I love this packaging. It is so cute. Okay. I can't even remember. Yeah, I don't have any Revlon mascaras. I can't even like remember if there is one that I really like or one that I used to use. Like I can't remember. Depending on how this acts, like I might get into Revlon mascaras. I really like how this looks so far. I'm kind of liking this. Okay, you guys, so this is the mascara, and I have to say that I really, really like this mascara. Like you guys know I have little short stumpy lashes. I always describe them like that. And y'all, this mascara is so good. Now you do wanna be careful because I did go in with multiple coats, about two and a half coats, and it did kinda of start to clump around that third coat. It could be because I didn't let it like dry completely before I tried to do the third coat, but you guys, this mascara for the top is amazing. It wasn't really working out for the bottom, so I went in with a little bit of my Rimmel Lash Accelerator. This is, you guys know, my go-to for my bottom lashes. So that is what's on the bottom, but on the top, I did put like one layer of this on the bottom and then followed up the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. So I might be combining these two to kind of see how it looks, but y'all, I love this mascara. Oh my gosh, it's not the waterproof one. No, it's not the waterproof one, so we'll be seeing how it lasts and all that stuff, and then I'll be giving you guys an update on like a products that I'm loving or products that I'm hating or favorites and hated video or whatever, because I really do start when I want to start back doing those. But y'all, first impressions, this is phenomenal. Such a pretty mascara. So, all right, you guys, let's finish off this look by doing our highlight, and then we'll be done. So we're gonna go back into our eyeshadow palette or our face palette. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe 501 and I'm gonna go into this highlight here at the top. This is Heat Wave. And we're gonna load our brush up and apply our highlight. Well, that is, that is a lot of highlight. That is really pretty. 
Oh my goodness, that's a gorgeous highlight. I kind of went a little crazy on this cheek with it. But that's really, really pretty. Hold on, let me find. Oh, maybe not the wrong brush. Let's find a clean brush to kind of blend this out. This highlight is amazing. So be careful because you can definitely go overboard with it because it's pretty pigmented. It's a very pretty highlight. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyebrow and connect it with my highlight. And then we're going to complete the look with some of our Makeup Revolution Super Hold Setting Spray, Misting Spray. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I really, really like this look. It's been a while since I've done purple on the eyes, so it's just taking me back. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you have tried the new Big Bad palette, the Megan Thee Stallion Revlon collaboration, along with the mascara, and which mascara did you try if you did try it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please let me know down below how you like it. Do not forget to hit subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up or thumbs down this video. I do accept both and follow me on social media if you want to stay connected. Thank you again for joining me for another video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.